we're back on the offside and uh, we're gonna watch a music video that was released uh, recently by the Uso, the movement um, from Otara and his new single called The Lecture. Okay, press play, Uso. Well, let's go. You wanna join in a gang, son? What the hell are you doing? They're no good for you to hang. Your whole life will be ruined. Now look at me. But pull up money when I talk to you, son. That shit is hurting me. You got to say my meals is your mum. You guys are lucky. I had to live my life in the mountains and drive a taxi in our beer with all the blessings I got. Then mum had your older brother, so we moved to New Zealand. So you can get a better life and never slave for Salivas. Was finger God. Knowing my English is bad, but yet I still went to work and got this house that we had. Got us all out the stir, gave a third to the church, sent the rest to Samoa. I put my head down and worked, yo, I'm grateful. Race you up to try and be something. You bring the shame to a name and no good as nothing. I should to son of you for wasting my time and my effort. All the money I for fun that you ignored it and left it. So cool. You have no reason not to succeed. You're in a place of opportunity, can grow from a seed. Listen, every night I pray for you, son. He watches over you and redirects you back to your mums. This shit is stressful. Lil Lil's pull up every day. You raise up the blood pressure, sending mum to her grave. I told them they can have you, they can take you away. King Amaka, it's hard for me to look at your face. Lo Meola, watch out when you screw up that face. Get fired, me. Don't make me get up on your space. I fought, so I put you in that critical state. You hear me? Don't make the cops come take me away. So stop crying, pack your bags and live on the streets Go lock the boys that you hang or give you somewhere to sleep And while they're there, tell them fix you something to eat I worked hard to get us here and that's the thanks you give me I put the offers on your back, set advice on your feet All the food on the table, lunch money for the week All the power that you waste, also pay to school C Instead of going into class, you're hanging out with more bees I just lose you in the morn, where you can move move every day Rain, hail, shine a storm, king Aina just to pay the Galafus that we have, the Alofa for the church, so we're worthy of the heavens never ending at the hearse. But the way that you be heading, you remain there in the dirt. Me and mum will be okay, cause we're serving God's work. And if I knew, I should have just left you inside, so we can take your privileges and live Bolonga Kuwa. Teach your kids to be grateful, acknowledge the man with this love that is hateful that we don't understand. I'ma stop you right there, never be the type. Bro. <laughs> So I see why it's called the lecture. Eh? This is like a, uh, <clears throat> like a combination, a culmination of all the, uh, <laughs> of all the words that our parents gave us. Eh? All the sacrifices they made and um, for us to be here, bro. That's deep, man. It's got bars, bro. <laughs> but you know, you kind of feel it because I heard my mom say a lot of that stuff, mm -hmm. and so um, oh, yeah, cool, <laughs> sweet. Eric. To be abusive, fill us full of fear, label us to be a nuisance, tell us that we're useless, disgrace to your name, to embarrass the even user, you can save all that shame, you weren't around, you love your church more than your kids, it's the same praying church hands that never choose to forgive, those boys gave me the time where you focused on church, did I ever cross your mind while you was reading that verse, they were there when you weren't, I never cared where you were, never shared a single word, just prepared for the worst, never brought me anything, never knew of my work. Never taught me anything All I know that it hurts Never taught me how to love Never taught me how to drive Only taught me how to lose it When it's bottled all inside All I wanted was a father Who can spend a little time Or even just a thought Or you can show me just a sign That you love me like your faith But couldn't put it all aside Instead I sit here disengaged Where I'm forced to even lie Never showed up to my games Cause you're working full time Had me going through a phase Where a piece of me had died Couldn't see it in my face My heart breaking all inside Like I'm just the waste of space the streets made me feel alive i just wanted to belong and feel accepted in your eyes where the hell did i get wrong to be neglected in your mind we avoid you every time too scared to interact it couldn't help believe my eyes that you were face to turn your back i'm supposed to be a man when you ain't teaching me nothing now you want to take a stand and talk to me like i'm nothing where's the lessons in your methods i just feel i'm protected every time when you be stressing shit is so 
unaccepted. Putting fear into your kids, you call it love and affection. Now you're molding all your blessings into angry new weapons. Same thing that you become, cause granddad had you bettered. Bruce beat him badly where it really shouldn't have mattered. See a bit of him in you, cause I'm seeing the patterns. It's pure truth I'm giving you that I put through in the ballad. So believe there's good in you, let's just change for the better. And I'ma show you gratitude and promise you to do better. We can overcome this, we've been through stormiest weathers. And I ain't here to call it quits, it made us tougher than leather. Wow. Oh my. No, that's that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Because in, initially I thought it was the lecture from father to to son, and obviously son replies, but I feel like I'm getting the lecture <laughs> on how we can be better. Oh that's that's mean, bro. That's mean. This is like uh, something that's real, eh? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 art, bro. That is art. Like, that's directed by uh, the Uso Samson Rambo, who's one of the best filmmakers in the country, Samoan Lauru. brother, um, and produced by Torres Laulu. Samoans again no. put this together, and obviously performed and written by uh, David Saltupi or The Movement, who is an amazing rapper, uh, MC um, mm -hmm. person, and uh, yeah, like so. I, I give you a little story, and I think we all kind of share it when we first mm -hmm. got the album. I was listening to it and then I stopped at this song and I was listening to it at the motorway. I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds like my dad. It yeah. sounds like my mom. And then that point where it cuts off to the kid part, mm. I was like, holy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that second verse always reminds me of the things that I would always love to say to our elders, but we can't. Yeah. Um, can't. Yeah. What was, what was your experience um, with those? Um, oh, man. It was me. Like, um, when the father said his lines, yeah, we all heard that, eh? Yeah. You know, I gave you everything, uh, this house that we have, you know, all the sacrifices we made coming to this yeah. country. We all know that about our, our generations. And then the um, the son said his part. Our... <laughs> How would yeah. you feel about that? Yeah, I, I'm still uneasy hearing yeah. that stuff. Yeah. You know, like um, the blaming the parents. Mm. Like, you know, like you said, like we can't really say it. And I don't feel like, no, nah, I can't. I can't ever say it because I, I don't ever blame them for anything. But I think in the scenario of, of what that was, it was kind of. I guess it's more about the, I guess the, the internal neglection versus, mm. versus the cultural aspects. That sometimes, because like our parents come straight from the islands, so their obligations are, much. It's, it's almost bigger than the family mm. in some some cases. Well, not always, but um, I think that's kind of what where the the rapping was coming from was that. There's like a bit of neglection at home and the kids will go astray and you know, mm -hmm. the, the typical story from the state houses, basically. But that's that was my take on no, it. No, that's real, it's real though. There's a massive disconnection. Yeah. You know, father's away and he's saying, I'm working hard. Yeah. You know, I I I gotta pour my time and that into the church or whatever, and the kid is getting schooled by the system. Yeah. You know, so there's a massive disconnect. And um, Dude, no, this is mean, bro. It, it emphasizes that disconnection, but it has a solution at the end. Yeah, it doesn't end on trauma. It ends on okay, how can we be better? Mm. And and that's awesome. And the way for us to be better is we gotta be together. And um, yeah, oh, I loved it. That's awesome. And that's what storytelling should be like. You talk about you know new media, our stories by our people, and that's a real experience, man. That whole first uh, father talking, man. Like we hear from everybody, our uncles, our aunties, parents, yeah. grandparents, sacrifices that they made. But it's sort of like sometimes you feel it's, it's set in a way to sort of shut up our experiences sometimes, yeah, yeah. to minimize our experiences. And our experiences are completely different. But to them, it's nothing much because yeah. they had a hard life. To us, it's hard. It's like everything. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's everything that we've lived through. And then... Oh man, it's awesome. I, I think that's awesome. More stories like that. More stories like that. And more stories with a solution at the end yeah. on, on how we can get through this together. And that's what I love about this, bro, is that that's the solution. Mm. Is we got to connect with our families. Yep. You know, connect and well, that's awesome, bro. That's me. And I felt like I'm the one in the end who got the lesson. And when I started watching it, the son is getting the lecture. Yeah. But at the end of it, I felt like I'm the one who learned something from it that I received a lecture. 